This is the grade six math practice test for TN. Ready? Question number on this version, three. Question says, what is 957 divided by 33? Enter your answer in the space provided. This is not multiple choice, so I can't guesstimate and get a reasonable answer like I did on number one, if you saw that video. But what I can do is assist myself in some ways. I know that I'm going to be working with 33, a reasonable amount. So if I just give myself a list of the multiples of 33 up through nine, for instance, that would be super helpful because then I can use it to tell what number is the best choice to divide. And if you don't know, it's okay. So I'm making a multiple list of 33. So there's one in 33. Two 33s is 66. So for the next one, I'm just going to do this. And then that'd be 9 and 9. This one's a little bit less nice. But generally speaking, this kind of math is not particularly difficult. Adding it a whole bunch helps. You may not need to do this, by the way. I don't expect everybody does. It's just if you get stuck and you don't really know where to go with it, this is a nice additional piece that you can add. Again, assuming you have time, maybe this is when you're kind of like, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. So you just skip it and then go on to some of the others. And then if you have time at the end, you come back. I mean, you'll be sitting there staring off at this space anyway. Why not? 8 and 3 is 11. 13. 1. 2. 31. And then... So now I have this nice list of all the multiples of 33. Your handwriting is probably better than mine, so that's a win. Uh, this is supposed to be a 9. It looks insane. But there we go. Now I'm ready to do the actual solution. And I'm going to erase all this because I don't need it. That took two minutes for me to do. It's not that hard. Um, so 33 goes into 95. 95 is less than 99, so I know it's not 3. It's got to be 2. And since I already know what that value is because it's right there, it makes everything easier. This is something I need to regroup here a little bit. 29, which makes sense. 99 versus 95 is 4 off, right? Well, 33 versus 29 is four off so that's where that comes in bring down your seven and look there it is 297 so nine there so my answer to this is 29 you may again never need to make this list of multiples but it can save you a ton of time if you do need to make it as opposed to check and guessing all the numbers until you get there I basically checked and guessed these anyway, so it saved me a bunch of time because now I have a clear line of what I need to be working with as opposed to just making small mistakes. Also, adding 33 to things is not really that hard, whereas trying to do the multiplication may be a bit of a mess if you stress out over tests or whatever. Choose your own adventure. There's an option.